I can spam my skills without worrying about the cooldowns. Hey guys, I wanted to drop a quick video for you detailing a new build, and I think I stumbled on something really cool. I took the speed of my Stormclaw build and combined it with the survivability and AoE clear of the Pulverize build. Bear in mind, the footage I'm about to show you is of an incomplete build. I haven't reworked the Paragon board, I'm using whatever random gear I had in my chest, and I'm still working on finalizing the skill tree, the aspect, and even the skills themselves. But I was still able to clear a tier 43 Nightmare Dungeon without much trouble. So let's break it down. We have our Great Staff of the Crone, which is allowing us to hit with two basic attacks at the same time. Not only does this mean our basic attacks do a lot more damage, but it also means that we're generating our spirit twice as fast. Combined with several attack speed stats, this is not only an effective spirit generator, but it's also solid DPS. The most important part of this build is the symbiotic aspect that we put on our boots. This aspect, combined with Nature's Fury, means that we are constantly getting an 8 second cooldown reduction on all of the skills of the opposite type. The biggest impact we see from this is our ability to get Earthen Bulwark every couple of seconds. That means that we are always unstoppable, always fully fortified, and we always have a barrier. Currently, I have Disobedience on the helm, Earth Guard on the chest piece, Mending Stone on the pants, Earth Sign Horror on the gloves, Symbiotic on the boots, Shockwave on the amulet, and I haven't decided on my rings yet, but I'll probably use Crash Stone, Resource Aspect, Offensive Aspect, Rapid Aspect, and very likely one I don't have yet, which is Natural Balance. I'll put out a full guide in a couple days once I finalize the build. I have a feeling the skill tree is close to what I'll end up doing, but all of these are subject to change. Right now I'm running Claw, Enhanced Claw, Wild Claw, Storm Strike, Enhanced Storm Strike, Fierce Storm Strike, Pulverize, Enhanced Pulverize, and Primal Pulverize, Art of the Wild, and Abundance, Predatory Instinct, Earth and Bulwark, Enhanced Earth and Bulwark, and Preserving Earth and Bulwark, and I'll probably find a way to max out the points in Earthen Bulwark, as well as try and find points that go into it on my gear. In the example video, I'm running Blood Howl, but I think I might use Cyclone Armor as a way to generate more casts of Earthen Bulwark. Also with Cyclone Armor, we get Enhanced Cyclone Armor and Innate Cyclone Armor. If I feel that I have enough vulnerability, I'll change this to Preserving Cyclone. We're also going to grab Hurricane, Enhanced Hurricane, and Savage Hurricane. For the passives, we're getting Elemental Exposure, Endless Tempest, and Bad Omen. We're also getting Crushing Earth and Safeguard. We'll adjust whether or not we take Safeguard and Crushing Earth based on how much Fortify we need. It's very likely after testing that I'll end up removing these two points and moving them into Earthen Bulwark. I also tested using Boulder in the build. It didn't feel very good even though I was able to cast it almost constantly. For our ultimate, we're taking Cataclysm, Prime Cataclysm, and Supreme Cataclysm. For the passives here, we're taking Defiance, Natural Disaster, and resonance. For our key passive, we have to take Nature's Fury. The build is based around this. For our spirit boons, we're doing wariness, swooping attacks, energize, or if you don't feel you need the spirit at all, feel free to go calamity instead. We're bonding with our serpent, and we're getting calm before the storm, and obsidian slam. If you need extra survivability, feel free to grab masochistic instead of obsidian slam. My paragon boards are a hot mess right now because I just changed builds, so I'm losing a massive amount of damage from things like this. I'll make sure to create a beautiful Paragon board for the final build when I put it out in the near future. The same goes for stat prioritization on the gear, but if you really need a basic example for now, go back and watch me hover over my gear in the beginning of the video. By the way, a couple things I should note. In the process of recording, I tested Innate Earth and Bulwark, and it was actually putting out a lot of damage. So I might play around with the idea of sticking to the basic attacks, spamming barriers for survivability and damage, and pumping points back into the basic attacks, which would also cause Earth Spike to be triggered more often, because replacing the core skill aspects frees up space for additional attack speed, as well as potentially changing Earth Spike into line damage.
If you like my videos, be sure to subscribe and feel free to stop by my Twitch and TheoryCraft with me. I'll see you guys there.